Test 10. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. A woman is carrying a briefcase. B. A woman is jogging in the alleyway. C. A woman is talking on the phone. D. A woman is putting on a jacket. Statement A. A woman is carrying a briefcase. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer A and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. A woman is climbing up a ladder. B. A woman is drinking water. C. A woman is reaching over a bush. D. A woman is walking down the trail. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. They're seated in the meeting room. B. They're listening to the presenter in the front. C. One of the men is taking a sip of coffee. D. One of the women is looking into a tablet. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. Some workers are gathered at the gate. B. Luggage is being unloaded from an airplane. C. A flight attendant is assisting people. D. Passengers are waiting in the baggage claim area. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. One of the women is answering a phone. B. People are sitting at both sides of the table. C. A presenter is pointing at a graph on the screen. D. People are watching a performance. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. A man is passing through an archway. B. A woman is leaning against a wall. C. They are hanging up a signboard. D. A picture frame is being assembled. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. Some benches have been arranged beside a door. B. Some frames have been mounted on the wall. C. A coat rack is standing in the corner of the room. D. All chairs have been pushed under the desk. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. When did Evans restock the shelves? A. Just before you got here. B. It is out of stock. C. You will find them on the top shelf. Number 8. Where do you go to exercise? 
A. About an hour a day. B. I prefer the park near my house. C. I go jogging every morning. Number 9. How long does this system take to restart? A. They are rebooting it now. B. It will be three feet long. C. It'll be done after lunch. Number 10. Would you like a refill on your coffee? A. Yes, it usually does. B. The cafe in the lobby. C. No thanks, just the check please. Number 11. Who left this door propped open? A. The building's janitor. B. A little more than that. C. Against the wall. Number 12. What dates are you planning to take vacation? A. I go three times a year. B. The first week of May. C. Hawaii this time. Number 13. That route is blocked, isn't it? A. Two blocks away from here. B. Yes, but there's a detour. C. This should be quick. Number 14. Isn't your car parked on the other side? A. No, I'm in lot A. B. Yes, roofed parking is available. C. We should rent a larger size. Number 15. Do you know which vendor is distributing our products in Northern California? A. Bishop Logistics in Seattle. B. There is a vending machine on the lobby. C. We used them last year. Number 16. Did Wilson ever call you back about the price estimate? A. More expensive than we thought. B. This is him calling now. C. This one is on sale. Number 17. Let's push the client meeting back a day. A. I don't think they'll be happy. B. Here's a copy of the schedule. C. No, I'm not feeling well. Number 18. Should I send the package by express shipping or just ground? A. Put the boxes on the floor. B. The client would like to receive it tomorrow. C. At the groundbreaking ceremony. Number 19. What was Ms. Alexander requested to prepare for the orientation? A. I don't think I'll have time. B. New company handbooks. C. Upon his request. Number 20. Dominique has been to that trade show, hasn't he? A. At the International Fair. B. Why don't you ask him? C. I will show you soon. Number 21. How will customers know about our new reward program? A. Flyers will be given out at the entrance. B. It airs every Saturday night. C. It was very rewarding. Number 22. Where should we store these boxes from the Stanton branch? A. Tomorrow morning would be best. B. Maybe in the refrigerated warehouse. C. They are all for Miss Stanley. Number 23. 
I would like to have Kelly lead the experiment. A. The experiment will be in Laboratory B. B. They are all experienced. C. You know Morris is more familiar with its procedure. Number 24. How often do you travel to Pittsburgh for class? A. I graduated last month. B. I usually go there by bus. C. There are many attractions. Number 25. Why is that shop still open? A. At 9 p.m. on weekdays. B. We are still shopping. C. It stays open later during the holiday season. Number 26. Are you paying together or on separate checks? A. It's on me. B. That might be great. C. I will check it later. Number 27. There is no more space to install an additional printer in our office. A. I will set it up tomorrow. B. You can use it now. C. Just put it on my desk. Number 28. How can we increase our production quota this quarter? A. We will hire seasonal workers. B. Probably a merger. C. Demand is up by 25%. Number 29. How soon will I get the price quote for my custom T-shirts? A. As soon as you submit the online form. B. You need a quotation mark here. C. Can you make the T-shirts bigger? Number 30. Are you ready to order now or do you need more time? A. You can track your order online. B. We're still waiting on one more person. C. It has many to-go dishes. Number 31. I was hoping to get one with a touchscreen. A. Your speech is very touching. B. My friend just got the same model. C. You should try this model. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Mary. I'm calling about your last expense report. Your company card history shows a charge at a restaurant while you were away for the marketing conference, but you didn't include it in the report. Oh, really? I listed everything I had the receipts for. I must have lost the receipt for that meal. I guess the company won't cover that charge. Actually, our company cards have a new feature. We can look up digital receipts for any non-ATM transactions. I hadn't heard about that so I guess I won't have to pay for it after all. No, it should be fine. I'll just get in touch with the bank to get the digital copy. Number 32. Which department does the man work in? Number 33. What problem does the man mention? Number 34. What does the man say he will do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm here for my 3 o'clock appointment with Dr. Harris. My name is Jason Gates. Good afternoon, Mr. Gates. 
Actually, Dr. Harris is running a little late with another patient right now, but he should be almost done. That's all right. I'll just wait over here for a bit. By the way, do you have anything to read while I wait? Of course. There are some magazines in the pockets of the chairs over there. If you want, there are some herbal teas in the waiting area. Have a seat, and I'll let you know as soon as the doctor is ready. Number 35. What is the purpose of the man's visit? Number 36. What does the man ask for? Number 37. What does the woman offer? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm calling from Bison Electronics. Our records show that you recently purchased a smart TV from us, and I would like to ask how satisfied you are with it. Overall, I am very happy with it. I link it directly to the internet and surf the web while I'm watching TV. However, it is hard to type website addresses or words in the search blank. Don't worry, it has a voice recognition function. Click the blank and push the voice button on the remote controller. If you feel like that is difficult, Try the tutorial option. You can select a feature and watch a video tutorial on how to use it. Number 38. What is the purpose of the call? Number 39. What does the man complain about regarding the product? Number 40. What does the woman suggest the man do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Ellis, it's Joan. I'm on the train, but they just announced some delays. The storm this morning left some debris on the tracks that needs to be cleared away. That doesn't surprise me. The wind has been really strong since last night. I'm already in the office. Do you think you'll be able to make the 9 30 meeting on time? It looks like I'll be cutting it close. Since you're already there, could you do me a favor and print out the briefing packets? Sure. I'll leave them on the table in the conference room. Number 41. What is the purpose of the phone call? Number 42. According to the man, what happened last night? Number 43. What does the woman ask the man to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm scheduling interviews to find a new legal aid for our firm. Can you join an interview on Monday? This coming Monday. I expect to be in court all day. Then how about Wednesday? Would the morning or afternoon be possible? I have another hearing on Wednesday, but it's not until after lunch. Great. I'll add you to the group of interviewers then. No problem. Just email me the applicant's resume in advance, please. Number 44. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 45. What does the woman say about the upcoming Monday? Number 46. What does the woman imply when she says, I have another hearing on Wednesday, but it's not until after lunch? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation Lloyd, I've been looking for you. Hi, Monica. Is there something you need? I heard that you used to work in a tax office. Tax season is coming up, and I could really use some help. 
Well, that was a long time ago, and tax laws are constantly changing. I'm not sure how helpful I can be. Oh, really? As you know, I got married this past year, and my husband is from another state. I'm not sure how we should report our finances. Actually, there is a really simple tax program you can use. Just download it from TaxEasy.com. It will walk you through every step. Number 47. Why was the woman trying to find the man? Number 48. What problem does the man mention? Number 49. What suggestion does the man give? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Jim. I was wondering if you might have some time to look over this ad proposal before I present it to the client. Sure, let me see. I really like the sequence of your presentation slides. However, our company logo doesn't stand out from the background very much. What if you use a brighter color? That's a good idea. I wanted to just make it look good, but I guess I need to think of the contrast. I'll email you a link to download a program I use. It will greatly increase the variety of colors you can choose from. Number 50. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 51. What does the man suggest the woman do? Number 52. What does the man say he will do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Noel, what are you still doing here? I thought you were going to help out at the school's book drive event going on now. I actually signed up to help with the bake sale next week. Right now I'm working on student reports. How are your student reports going? I am in big trouble now. I lost a lot of saved work. What did you lose? How did it happen? During a science lab, a student accidentally spilled water on my laptop and the hard drive died. I'm not sure I can write the reports from the start again and submit them on time. That's why we post signs saying no beverages in the computer lab. I'll hold a student assembly next week to remind them of the safety procedures during lab experiments. Number 53. What does the man imply when he says, I actually signed up to help with the bake sale next week? Number 54. What is the man worried about? Number 55. What does the woman say she will do next week? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Thanks for coming. We're glad to finally get to meet you. I'm Dr. Collier, and this is our head nurse, Brian Katan. Hello, Ms. Hardy. We're really impressed by your educational background. Thank you. I always try to stay ahead of the curve in med school. Well, I think you'll make a valuable addition to our staff. I'm sure you're aware that in this wing we might need to call you in at any time. Are you capable of that? Yes, of course. I can be ready at a moment's notice. Also, my apartment is only a few blocks away. Okay, that sounds great. Let's meet all of our staff members. Follow us, please. Number 56. Where do the interviewers most likely work? Number 57. What requirement is mentioned about the position? Number 58. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Monique, 
How do you always fill your restaurant? I feel like there have been less and less people coming to my cafe these days. Do you have any tips or suggestions on ways I could attract more customers? Well, you should ask your customers what they do and don't like. Try offering discount coupons to customers who fill out surveys. I tried that when I opened my restaurant. Thanks, that's a good idea. By the way, could I see one of the surveys you used? I'd like to use one for reference. Sure, I'll take a picture of one and send it to you. Number 59. What problem does the man mention? Number 60. What advice does the woman give? Number 61. What does the man request the woman to do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, Antoine, did you get a chance to read the email I sent? Oh, right. I'm sorry, Aisha. I meant to respond, but I got distracted. That's okay. I know you're busy designing a book cover for a sequel to Blaine Winch's bestseller to be published next month. I am. It's coming along extremely well. I have the final draft completed. I just need to revise some details for later this week. Congratulations. I hear many readers have been eagerly awaiting and have already pre ordered it. So, could you just take a moment to look over this list of editors to be contacted for reviewing manuscripts from the authors? No problem. I have the file right here. I really appreciate it. I can't help but feel like I'm forgetting something. Wait, isn't Professor Swanson a well known researcher in that area? Ah, I knew there was someone else. Thanks for your help. Number 62. What line of work are the speakers most likely in? Number 63. What does the woman say will happen next month? Number 64. What does the man imply when he says, Isn't Professor Swanson a well known researcher in that area? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. I'm sorry, ma'am, you can't come through here. Only vehicles approved to help with bridge repairs may enter. Really? I recently started as a truck driver, and this is the only route I know to get to Walton Beach. Is there another detour that leads there? Here is a map. The closest one from here in Vicksburg is Lawson Bridge. However, it is restricted for oversized vehicles like yours. Donner Bridge or Mercer Bridge are toll roads. Oh, I don't have any cash on me. Aren't there any other bridges without tolls? No, but if you take the one a little north, you can pay a toll by credit or check card. Okay, thanks for your help. Number 65. Where does the man most likely work? Number 66. What does the man say about the woman's car? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Which bridge will the woman most likely take? Question 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and invoice. Hi, I'm calling about my bill. Some of the charges seem to have changed. Let me look up your account. I see. The basic fee for cable has gone up $5 per month, but includes 50 extra channels. The device rental fee was reduced because you have been using our service for exactly two years now. Ah,、uh, I understand. That all sounds good then. One last thing. Could I remove the landline? I really only use my mobile phone, so it's not necessary. Yes, I'll take care of that for you. I will terminate that now, and the charge will not appear on your next bill. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that's all right. Thanks for your help. 
Number 68. Why is the man calling? Number 69. Why has the man received a discount? Number 70. Look at the graphic. How much will be taken off the next billing statement? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following introduction. And joining us now is Lucy Cummings, who is best known for co writing Minding Music. She started her writing career two years ago after retiring as a pianist. She will discuss her bestseller and focus on the effects of music on developing minds. Many examples of how music changes people's daily life will be given. She will play some pieces of music that she wrote to help raise concentration. Following her piano performance, there will be time for a question and answer session at the end. So if you have anything you would like to ask, please wait until that time. Number 71. What is Ms. Cummings' current occupation? Number 72. What will Ms. Cummings do? Number 73. What does the speaker request the listeners to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Walter. It's me, Rachel. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Apparently, my checked bag was damaged and came open during the flight, and a bunch of the smaller products that I was supposed to use in the demonstration fell out. The airline said that they can give me some reimbursement for the lost items, but I really need them for the demonstration tomorrow morning. I'll try to put the demonstration off a day. Could you send the products by overnight to me? I already obtained oral approval from the manager. I'll text you the codes of the missing ones. Number 74. What problem does the woman mention? Number 75. What is scheduled for the next day? Number 76. Why does the woman say, I already obtained oral approval from the manager? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. As you may have heard, our store is going to switch over to digital registers on the 1st of next month. We have installed some practice registers in the HR office to train you all on before the official ones are installed in each department. This training is mandatory for all sales for employees. There is a sign up sheet in the break room, and up to three employees can train at a time. Please let your supervisor know before signing up for a training time. The training sessions should last about 30 minutes each. I'm sure you'll find this digital system to be much more convenient. Number 77. What is the speaker mainly talking about? Number 78. Where can the listeners sign up? Number 79. What should the listeners do before signing up? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Our CEO has decided that it's time to create a new company logo. He wants something more modern. 
You probably know that it has not changed since we moved our headquarters here almost 40 years ago. I think the best way to get ideas is to start with an employee contest. The reward for the best logo will be a week-long holiday. There are no special restrictions in this contest. Just be sure to include your name, employee ID, and phone extension with your submission. You can submit as many or as few ideas as you wish. Feel free to forward your submissions to my secretary. Number 80. What does the speaker say the CEO is considering? Number 81. What benefit will the winner receive? Number 82. What are the listeners reminded to include when they submit an idea? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Our internet is currently down, so you won't be able to access any web pages that you have been working on. I realize that you can't develop your pages further until this gets fixed, so our IT department is working on it as we speak. For now, please clean up the areas around your desks and then feel free to leave for lunch early and take your time. Please keep your mobile phones on, however. I will send an office-wide text to let you know when the Internet is running again. Number 83. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 84. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 85. What are the listeners asked to do? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following radio broadcast. Welcome back to 104.1 FM. I'm your host, Jason Green. With the holidays coming up, many of you have called in to ask for cooking tips since you will be hosting dinner with relatives. Here are some helpful ideas. If you're going to bake a turkey... Then here are a few things that will make it come out perfect. First off, make sure you grease both the inside and the outside of the skin. That and regularly basting it are two of the most important factors. Now for the stuffing, you can just use breadcrumbs and celery. Unless you're an advanced cook, we recommend keeping it simple. If you want to get more advanced tips, you can visit us online for various recipes. Number 86. What is the main topic of the broadcast? Number 87. What does the host suggest for beginners? Number 88. According to the host, how can people get recipe information? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Let's get started with the meeting. The safety inspector who was here last week will be coming back tomorrow. We've already made most of the adjustments that he said we should make, and we can definitely be ready to get a perfect score when he comes. This is a big second chance. If he had just submitted the score he initially gave us, we would have had to pay a huge fine. We need to make the most of this and get a perfect score this time. If we pull this off, I will reward each and every one of you with a free family dinner voucher for Gills and Grills, the most famous seafood restaurant in town. Let's do our best. Number 89. What is the purpose of the upcoming visit? Number 90. Why does the speaker say, This is a big second chance. Number 91. What does the speaker offer as a prize to the listeners?
Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and graph. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the meeting. I have put together the information we gathered from the last series of customer surveys. As you can see, we didn't score very well on employee courtesy, but we have already scheduled a workshop next week, and I think it will improve. We should focus on the other score that was the second lowest one. If you look at your handouts, you will find my proposal for a new floor plan. I think that putting accessories in the front of the store could make a big positive difference. Number 92. What has the speaker recently done? Number 93. Look at the graphic. Which area of the survey does the speaker want to focus on? Number 94. What does the speaker recommend? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and map. Attention passengers waiting to board train 109 to Houston. Some engine problems have been detected with the train on track D, so a different train will be taking you to your destination. Instead of track D, you will be leaving from track B. Also, your departure will be delayed by about 30 minutes. We apologize for the inconvenience. While moving to your new departure point, please stop by a customer service desk and present your ticket. They will give you a complimentary coupon that can be used at the store directly across from the customer service center. Please refer to any station map to see a list of the amenities at each track. Number 95. What has caused a delay in departure? Number 96. What does the speaker say the listeners can do at the customer service desk? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Where can the passengers use their coupons? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and work schedule. Good morning, Travis. This is Kelly. I received your last inventory report and noticed that it was not in the new format. Our corporate headquarters has made some requests for changes that we need to make. Actually, they will make keeping track of warehouse inventories much easier. I'd like to meet tomorrow morning to show you the new format. I'll teach you everything new about it. Let's try to meet an hour before the weekly meeting. It shouldn't take long to cover everything, so we can talk about the upcoming driver interviews and go to the weekly meeting together. Number 98. What department is the speaker most likely in? Number 99. What does the speaker want to do for the listener? Number 100. Look at the graphic. What time does the speaker suggest meeting the next day? This is the end of the listening test.